heard the title of the movie before I read the script or before we did the movie I wasn't quite sure about that word but now that the movie's done and um, I, I think I do think it's gonna have a whole different meaning to it I do yeah it's a slang word I think I think it's a fun I've noticed when I'm talking to guys or, or different people we're talking um, how often the word bimbo comes into conversations without having anything reference to my movie <laughs> I think oh, oh all the bimbos I ran into last week at that day. <laughs> bimbos I've ever dated in my life or um, I find that it's actually probably a word used more than you'd even really think about it. Bimbos notwithstanding, actress Elizabeth Caton gives us an all-out rising star performance in Empire Pictures' Assault of the Killer Bimbos. Yet Elizabeth gives a lot of credit to her director Anita Rosenberg. She was the first woman director I've ever worked with, and it was definitely a big difference in a much better way, how she dealt with people, with the crew, and with the actors, and I think she's a terrific director, because she gives actors a lot of freedom, like she doesn't tell you, it's true, she doesn't tell you what you should do, but if you need help, or if something is a little off, she will definitely speak up and definitely correct it, but she does give you a lot of freedom, so you can find the character yourself, she doesn't sit and tell you how to play it. The research I did for writing the story is I rented a lot of these girl gang movies, Girls in Prison, um, some Russ Meyer films, and other kind of girl films. The thing I should mention about them, they're all very degrading toward women, and I d didn't appreciate that, but I thought if I could take the gist of these girls, the funny idea of a girl gang on the run somewhere and have fun, and make fun of them and poke fun and have a good time with it, and not make it degrading toward women, and put them in fun, cute outfits, and use a lot of the elements that that the male audience looks for and also have throw some fun female things I could have a real unique picture and that's what I think I did because what's very interesting is when I ha have screenings of the film men react to certain things and women react to totally different things the girls will watch some of the campy um, girl things like when the girls spray hairspray to get out of a situation or super glue when they break a nail or some of the just girl things and they think they're very funny and I think the guys find different parts of the movie very funny so what's nice is it, I think, appeals to both audiences. It's not just a male-oriented film, and it's not just a three girls having fun being silly film. By the title, I think certain people are going to get preconceptions about it that are wrong. But I think if they go see the movie, I think that everybody's just going to have a good time, and it's a sweet, very funny movie. And I think, I think uh, the word of mouth will be really good. I do. A lot of times women want to act more like men to be accepted and I think today what's great is we can be ourselves and we are ditzy and we are silly and we are serious and we are intelligent and we are fun and we're all those things. I mean that's what's yeah. fun about being a girl. Um, we all can play a bimbo when we want something and we can also play uh, serious when we want to be thought of in a different way. It was just a really fun shoot. It was totally a blast. I think it's the most fun I've ever had on a movie honestly. From morning to night we had a great time every day. I missed it when it was over. I think it's the most upset I ever was when a movie was over. Oh, we're okay, rolling. Oh, God. Aren't we? That's what those little red lights mean? I give to you the beautiful, the talented. Go-go dancers? The go-go happens to be a highly respected classical art form. It is interpretive dance in a rock and roll format. Anita Rosenberg is the director of Assault of the Killer Bimbos, and Liz Caton is one of the stars. Okay, so which of these girls is the real bimbo? I think she's because she wrote it. Uh -huh. No. Yeah. I don't think either of us are bimbos. <laughs> no, that's true. When Actually, the thing that's very interesting, I think, about the film is that I don't think the girls are bimbos at all. I don't think, I think the, we'll be serious for a moment, but the girls in the film, they're independent and they're resourceful and they're uh, intelligent girls. And I think the ironic part is that they really aren't bimbos. <laughs> that 
actually, I did choose were really good actresses. And it was very important for me to find girls that were actresses and that were very good. Because first of all, in order to play a bimbo, I can't, don't think you can really be one. I think it's a terrific film, honestly. It's, it's a very basic, very cute story. It's a... Uh, it starts off with Peaches and Lulu, that Lulu's me, and we work at a go-go, and my dream is to be a go-go dancer. So I finally get to go on one night when another girl doesn't show up, and I'm pretty bad, so I get fired. So as we're packing to leave, because the other girl wants to go with me too, uh, after the boss calls me a bimbo and she gets mad, <laughs> we're uh, packing to leave and we hear a gunshot, and I run in the room to see what happened, and uh, I get handed the gun. Oh no, a bimbo with a gun! Now they're the world's most wanted bimbo. And when other people come in, they think that I did it. So we start running from the police, and we pick up Darlene, the third bimbo, at a cafe. And uh, it's just us going down to Mexico, escaping from the law, and kind of looking for the guy who did it. To clear right. our names. <laughs> Another way they run into some crazy characters. Yes. They run into three surfers. crazy surfer guys on a surf safari. We got Griffin O'Neill, Nick Cassavetes, and Jamie Bozian, who acted together in a movie called The Race with Charlie Sheen. And they're they're fun crazy characters. So the, on, the girls are on their way to Mexico, and uh, the guys are on their way to Mexico also, and they all end up at the same place. Many times. <laughs> yes, many times they end up at the same place. It, it was totally a blast. I think it's the most fun I've ever had on a movie, honestly. From morning to night, we had a great time every day. I missed it when it was over. I think it's the most upset I ever was when a movie was over. I can't oh wait to do the sequel. <laughs> the title makes me laugh. When they first told me the title, I wasn't sure. Like I told them, yeah. it, sounded a, it sounded a little degrading, and I thought, I'm not sure. I would like to do some sophisticated, intelligent films and be respected, and I thought, I don't know if this is it, and I went home. And, you know, every time I said the title, I laughed. I yeah. giggled out loud every time I said it. I just, right. I couldn't stop laughing. It was the silliest thing I ever heard, and I told my parents. My dad, for a long time, wouldn't even repeat it. He thought yeah. it was so weird and insulting. He wouldn't repeat it. But now that everyone's talking about it, my dad is so proud. He calls me up. He's from Cincinnati. And he says, oh, I mentioned your movie to someone down the street, and they've heard of it. And he goes, this bimbo thing's a real big thing. <laughs> All right, babe, what do you want to get? Uh, um, right. Bim burrito. Two bim burritos, two bim burritos, and uh, how about four bim cheeseburgers? Oh, no, five. All right, five. Five bim cheeseburgers. Oh, we need some uh, four, make it four. All right. Uh, four super bim dogs and uh, some bimbo cokes and uh, uh, 17 Twinkies. You're on a diet. All right, 15. Mm. All we need now is those burgers. There they are. All right, those will fit right in there. Thanks a lot. Okay, here we go. Hey, thanks a lot. Thank you. Think this is enough? Bim burgers. <laughs> here we go. Mm. Mm. Time for the show. Mm. I love bimbos. Call them bad. Where's my boyfriend? Call them beautiful. Radical hair. I got a surfboard, same color. Call them brainless. I get ding dong. But don't ever call them bimbos. What? Bimbos. Didn't I tell you never to use that word around me? Hi, movie time. All the bimbos out there. <laughs> and all the bimbos out there. Hello. <laughs> Bimbos, bimbets, bimbinos, and bimbo lovers galore drove up in droves for the drive-in world premiere of Assault of the Killer Bimbos. Was movie time there? Don't be silly. Of course we were, with our own doctor of bimbology and bimboy himself, Chris Chisholm. What are the qualifications needed uh, uh, to be the best bimbo? You have to be a killer. I think it takes style, sleaze, and someone to bring him to their knees. Okay, a B I M B. Okay, a beautiful, important mo Massive. movie bombshell. <laughs> I'm not a bimbo in real life, so when I did the movie, I could have a lot of fun and I wouldn't be too nutty. I could pull it back or whatever. You know, you're probably probably Elliot's most famous bimbo, wouldn't you say? I thought you were the bimbo. Don't ever, 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 ever call me bimbo. I think it's incredible, the tremendous turnout, including Los Angeles' uh, number one bimbo, Angeline. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, definitely. Number one bimbo. Oh, <laughs> As does even all of us. <laughs> Tell me, what do you think the reaction to this fabulous film is going to be? It's uh, destined to be a classic, isn't it? I, well, yeah, because I think it's really funny. I don't think it's a stupid movie. I don't think it's the kind of movie that's, uh, it's not slapstick, it's not silly, and it's not degrading. That's the main thing. It's definitely not degrading. And I think that the response is going to be good, because I think people are expecting a lot less than they're going to get. <laughs> I think so. I really do. There's a story of, of three girls, but they're good girls, aren't they? We're, we're very nice girls, and we're put in a very unpleasant situation, and we make the most of it, and we come out, we come out, well, I'm not going to, I'm not going to spoil it. But victorious or pregnant, which I one is it? No, 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 we're good girls. We come out victorious in the end. <laughs> I knew you'd come across, all right. A little bit about your character and the, and the, the, the girls you work with. Okay, well, she's Darlene, and she's that little southern waitress, and they kidnap her out of a very bad job in a truck stop, take her across country, and she turns out to be their key weapon against the bad guy, Big Vinny. See, this is the bad guy, and this is what happens if you're a bad guy. You win. He gets the bimbos in the end. See? I mean... But you're not bimbos. I want to make that clear. We're surrounded by bimbos tonight, but these are actresses, these you ladies. And I, you and I are the only bimbos, so yeah. Biff and Buff right here. <laughs> and what brings you here tonight? A Mack truck or what? <laughs> no, my car and my aspirations for bimboism. <laughs> uh -huh. Don't call me bimbo. Well, that about wraps it up. I just got my first le lesson in the bimbosity, and the, hey, it was good and plenty. You know what I'm saying? Speaking of good and plenty, let's go get some snacks, at eh, bimbos? <laughs> <laughs> this is Chris Chisholm for Movie Time. <laughs> See you later. <laughs>